Good morning. Today is Thursday, June the 15th. The time right now in Singapore is 7.46 in the morning. And overnight, we have the news that the Federal Reserve decided to pause its uh, interest rate hikes for the first time uh, since the start of the rate hike cycle in March of last year. So the impact here is that the market has mostly already expected a pause. But what is uh, interesting is that Fed chairman has actually given this pause another spin, saying that he does not see the end of the rate hike cycle, meaning to say that he foresee uh, there is good probably going to be another 0.5% interest rate hike from now all the way till the end of 2023. So for next month uh, in July, we have another FOMC meeting and that is also likely to be seen to be another chance for the market, uh, for the Federal Reserve to actually resume its rate hike cycle again. And this has actually caused some a little bit of a confusion in the marketplace. Uh, in equity markets, we have the Dow Jones that went down. We had S&P 500 that remains basically the same price. And of course, we have a little bit of upside to the NASDAQ 100. But today, what you want to talk about is the Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin actually uh, did not perform very well upon the uh, news that the Federal Reserve is going to pause. Uh, in fact, a pause will actually be seen to be a good thing. But however, it says that the... Uh, the rest of the year, we may see another 0.5% interest rate hikes. Now that caused the market to come back down and market has actually gone down and break the 25,000 levels, uh, dropping something like 3.8% at one point in time before stabilizing currently just under 25,000 to trade at 25. Uh, uh, right now, the market is back into 25,000 again at $25,100 there about. But I think the market trajectory does suggest that we probably will see a lower price going forward at least in the short term, target is probably anywhere between $22,000 to $23,200. So within this breakout of price, you can see in the daily time frame, this market has been going up and uh, from the low of $15,500 there about to $31,000. So this pullback is seen as a larger degree three-way pullback and this is technically supportive of further prices uh, rising in the, uh, in the medium to long term. So this drop here is actually preparing us for a buying opportunity. And again, the level to buy will be somewhere likely to be in twenty two to $23,000. So do watch out for this pullback into this area and to see if it is worth uh, considering buying. There you have it. I'll come back to you with another update tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Take care.